Now, Stormwatch 12 weather with meteorologist Sarah Kress. And right now, it's not too warm outside. We're still into the 60s, 62 in Medford, 62 over in Selma, 63 along the coast in Brookings. Moving down to Northern California, same deal, still into the 60s, a little bit warmer over in Montague right now, 67, and down into Dunsmuir. And moving east of the Cascades, 67 in Paisley, 58 still into Klamath Falls. So not too warm around the region just yet, but we will be seeing some above average temperatures for most of the region today. Warm Coming up into the 70s for most of us, 75 over into Medford, 74 into Klamath Falls, same deal down and towards Mount Shasta. Also expecting to see some breezy conditions through the day. It'll be along the mountains as we head over to the east side and some of those higher elevations down into Northern California as well. The rain will begin as we do head into the later evening hours into the early night hours. It'll become much more widespread. So by the time we're in the morning, most of us will be likely seeing that rain making its way through. Also some chilly temperatures as we do head into the later hours of tonight. But these temperatures are pretty similar to what we've been seeing the past few days. So it's not going to be too different. Besides, it is going to be looking much wetter as we do head into those overnight hours. And taking a look out at Mount Shasta, absolutely beautiful today. As we head into the next few days, tomorrow not getting too cold, but we'll see some cooler temperatures. I would say rather chilly as we do head into Thursday. We're expecting to see some snow. Now after this first system makes its way through, we're seeing a cold front cooling us down a little bit, bringing us that first round of rain. Now as we head into Wednesday night into Thursday, that's when we're expecting a stronger front to be moving through. And this low did originate from Alaska, so it's bringing a lot of cold air and moisture into our region. So we're going to see the chances for snow in those higher elevations. Snow levels dropping to about 4,500 feet. So as we wake up on Thursday morning, we'll likely see some snow into the mountains in those higher elevations. So if you are driving in the mountains, just be a little bit careful. The ground is still going to be warm, so we could see some slushy conditions for the morning. And it is going to be clearing out, though, as we do make our way through the day, possibly seeing a pop-up snow shower as we do head into the overnight. But as we head into Friday, it will be clearing out, and we can expect some warmer temperatures. Now, along with this system, we will see some cooler daytime highs, but it's also going to be getting rather cold as we do head into the morning hours. Now, it's into the Rogue Valley as we head into Friday morning. We're going to see some pretty chilly temperatures. We're dropping down into the 30s. So as we do wake up on Friday, possibly seeing some freeze conditions. Might see a, a frost advisory as well. We're keeping wait for that, but do expect if you have any plans, I would bring them inside on Friday because it's going to be rather cold. But again, and we'll come back up to those normal lows as we do head past the weekend. But let's go ahead and take a look at what we can expect for your seven day pretty normal temperatures. We're going to be into the 60s, rain the next few days as well. This weekend not looking too bad. Over into Northern California, breezy conditions the next few days. Also cooling down quite a bit into the 50s with that next cold front making its way through. Over into the Klamath Basin, rain likely starting tomorrow. Today is going to be rather pleasant outside. And as we head into the weekend, it's still going to be chilly as we do head into Friday, but warming up slightly. And then as we come into the mountains, same trend. And as we head into the weekends back up into the 60s. We're also tracking another system too heading into next week bringing the chances back for some more rain, but taking a look over at the Rogue Valley, same deals everywhere else. As you can see, that high pressure is going to be building as we do head into Friday and Saturday, clearing us out in some nice conditions to start our weekend. 